So literature bestows a lot of gifts to everyone. And one of the gift is the precious writing. That indeed could be learned through skills. So here we have a budding writer and who could be an inspiration for everybody present here. I personally have taught her and I am very proud of her. She is uh, Purnishi. Purnishi is 14 years old and is an avid learner in, with sharp capabilities and potential in creative writing, visualization, acting, singing, and dancing. Not to forget, even in handling tasks like creating a newsletter and handling the entire team. She has traveled to more than 20 cities in India and in the Middle East, and she loves to travel and explore new places, appreciating the vivid cultures and languages. She's also into, also into graphic designing and learning languages currently, French. She has been awarded the Ryan Star 2018-19 at her school, Ryan International in India, and she has been entrusted with the responsibility of Environment Minister being a member of the student parliament or council at the school. She has won various awards in handwriting, oratory, and journal knowledge. Not to forget, she was the best speaker in Model United Nations in 21K school. Punishi, all over to you. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Not ma'am. <laughs> I'm That's not okay. here. <laughs> See, you have been promoted to ma'am. Yeah. Uh, can you allow me to share? Abhimanyu, she is the student of the same school in grade 8. Grade From 9 Grade now. 7. Grade 9 now she is. And uh, she has started from here. And we have seen her grown. So she's going to share about uh, how to be a, a writer and uh, about her experience. Yes. Punishi, all over to you. Thank you. Yeah, so I'll share my screen just a second. Just give me a minute. Okay, so can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Okay, so hello, so hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. I am Poonishi, the author of the book, The Crepe Cafe. I wrote the book in 2020 when I was 12 years old and the book was published by my dad uh, like on 12th of May, 2020. And that's why I'm here to inspire you all to start writing. So we'll start with, just a second. So we'll start with a little introduction of my book. And if you're a creative imaginer like me, then how to get started and tips to overcome writing blocks and to write better and fluent. So before that, I would like to ask like, who are like creating stories in their head? Just in head, yeah. Yes, Tadu. And... Uh, I also like creating stories in my head. Even I tried typing them in Google Docs. Yeah, same here. And how many of you? Uh, like five to six, seven. Like I've written like 250 words in those stories at okay. least. Okay. Okay, so almost all of you, that means, that means someone will get bored here. Yeah. Okay, so moving ahead, I'll talk about my book. So my book, it's about a girl called Beliza. And uh, in short, it's like she, get, she gets lost at an airport. And when she tries to get back to her mom and her sister, she finds herself outside the airport. And because she does not have the tickets and all, so she cannot get inside and she cannot get inside the airport. So now here's where the, her, big, uh, like her adventure begins from. That's the adventures of Beliza. And though this story, you know, sounds a little ordinary, but it is not. It has a very beautiful, a very fantastical part in between that you'll get to know when you'll, you know, read the story. And I'll share the link of the book after, you know, sharing the presentation after a while. Moving ahead, 
what inspired me to write a book well i always get fascinated when i watch movies and books of fictional genre i always think that how the writers of the books and movies are able to come up with such beautiful stories and how do they express it through words in books and through graphics in movies so that's what fascinated me that's what you know inspired me now before that i like to ask like name any of that one book or that one movie that you really like a fictional genre in the chat box or you can even unmute yourself okay you can unmute and speak that tadu you can speak okay so i like one book it's called diary of the wimpy kid it they, it has many series in that uh its genre is very com comedy and it's very funny if you see the pictures okay um i can see abhiman you raising his hand the lord of the rings i'm sure you, you all know of that the lord of the rings it's fantasy action adventure and drama okay anyone else any movie book any anyone any one that you like no one okay yes bhavya uh, i really like uh, fantasy and comedy books like i'm always <clears throat> it's like whenever i read something i just i just want to you know, get inside the book and i just want to like understand the book so i usually uh, like comedy or maybe fantasy or maybe sometimes uh, non fictional also okay any name that you know like any one book that you've read of any one movie um, it's like a book i've read like five times that like I, i can't stop reading that book it's the one and only one okay okay yes gobi i really like the book uh, called art scene like i really like um, books with a lot of imagery that make me feel like i'm not just reading it it feels like i'm in a different world that the story yeah, is actually happening you no know, a movie going on in your mind that's what i was going yeah. to yes okay. so i really like the book art scene which genre is also something that i really like to enjoy okay any fictional book fiction is okay it's fictional okay Okay, so getting back, why now? So I really wanted to bring this up, as this is a question that I asked myself at that time when I was writing my book. It's like you know, why do this now? We can, you know, I can even write a book when I when I grow up. Why do this now? Why do this at this age? So and now when I go into the flashback and think about it, the answer is that it's not about you know creating a career right now at this age and you know sacrificing your play time and dedicating all your day to this. no it's more about developing that skill it's more about developing that confidence for doing that skill and taking a passion to the next level so it's just about taking that one hour or that two hours and then you know taking your passion to the next level something doing something that you're really passionate about now if you're a creative imaginer then like me and want to express your story through words then how to get started first make sure that the story has a start conflict actions and resolution so you of course have a story in your mind but it does uh, definitely does not have all of the points it does not have like the start and the conflict and actions and resolution and like everything but you have to make sure that you have that and you have to exceed the story till it's long enough to write a book now if you just have a short story then you can add like mini mini stories into it and make it long enough to write a book on second is dump the story and the ideas you have on a notebook now whatever story you have whatever ideas you have you can filter that later you can just write that on your notebook for now third third is plan how long do you want your book to be so like do you want to write a very small big or small book for small children or a big book for children of your age you know do you want to include chapters in it how many chapters will it have how many words in that book there will be that's about it fourth is plan plan writing style tone now what will be the tone 
will it be mysterious will it be casual will it be formal what kind of tone will be what will be your approach to writing what will be your writing style what characters will you have what dialogues will you have and the vocabulary what words are you going to use constantly again and again over and over now tips to write fluently and overcome writing blocks now when i was writing my book i just came up with a story and i just you know started writing and i did not really plan that thoroughly and you know i didn't learn that much so the first tip is that read different books learn about a good book planning and other ways so again as i mentioned that when i was writing my book i did not plan thoroughly i did not learn much about it but if you do it can really help you to overcome writing blocks what is writing block writing block is when suddenly while writing you just don't know what to write ahead you just blank and that happened with me as well so learning you know learning like how to be a good writer learning how to improve your writing skills learning about a good book planning will help you a lot so you know learn before writing the book and keep learning while writing the book and after writing the book as well so keep learning second is how well do you know your character okay this is my favorite one it is that before introducing your character Uh, in your book you have you should be the first one to know about your character so what you have to do is on a notebook you have to list down all the characters and you know the main characters you have to write on the top and you have to you know write everything about them every single detail about them and the best part is that you are the only one to design your character you will the one who will design your character so what you can do is like what is the physical appearance of your character what is that good thing about your character what is that bad trait about your character is there any unique trait that your you know character has you have to write everything and this will help you to overcome writing blocks for like this if you follow this tip then you will be able to write fluently you know what to write before writing about your character third is add a lot of details and a lot of descriptions now if i simply write that belisa was in the airport she got lost and then she found herself outside the airport and then she wanders here and there that's not interesting at all so what we have to do is we have to add a lot of details and descriptions like what is the place where is she at what are the things around her things that are of course relevant but you have a, uh, you have to uh, like you know add a lot of details and a lot of descriptions using sensory language is the best way to do that now you all know what sensory language is fourth learn new and better words relevant to your writing piece okay not just do it if you have the skill if you want to do it if you're really passionate about it then just do it i'd like to say okay thank you for listening and if you have any questions you can ask right now eraj ask your question yeah so uh, for me actually i was writing a book but i suddenly stopped for some unknown reason i have not continued on with it i was thinking of doing i had a physical book then i transferred to a digital i thought of doing it but i stopped is there any encouragement for me to continue doing this yeah if you have the skill then you should do it and one tip of uh, that one how well do you know your character have you listed down the characters and all the you know traits of them and everything about them have you mm -hmm. done that okay so have you mm -hmm. you know decided about your you, have you planned about your story in a detailed way like what the story will be yes and as as the story continues i keep adding more characters in my own story without uh, myself knowing it and i describe it to myself when my parents then whoever i know i start with them and if they tell me to no he should be like this then i'll add that if i think that's good okay and you can even write that on a notebook so it will help you like whenever you face this writing block thing you can just keep that notebook in front of you and that will really help you to start writing again and is it because that you are not motivated enough to write a book or is it that you don't know what to write ahead uh the second one i don't know what to write ahead okay so this one will help you you know everything you should know everything about your character and it's like play this game like how well do you know your character if someone is asking you that do you know your character so you should be able to answer everything about them so before introducing your character in the book you have to know everything about them 
and so as the characters you know plan your story in a little more detail and still if you don't know how to continue then you can think of like like if you uh, if you're in the middle of the conflict then you know how to end that conflict what will be the action to end that conflict that you can think of for example hope that helps thank you very much thank you anyone else Come on, children. She has come here just for you people, so that you can ask her questions. If there is anything that is in there in your mind, or even if you don't have any idea how to start it, uh, uh, then please uh, ask. Yeah, please. Yes, okay, darling. Yeah. Um, it's I'm really confused. Like. Uh, whenever I get a story in my head, I just don't know how to introduce the story, like how to um, really introduce it. Like if I and on the top, if I write once upon a time, blah, 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 I don't think it would, would be good. And if I say hello, uh, blah, 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 I don't I'm really confused what to do for my introductory. No, that's actually a good one. You should continue writing. And that's because of lack of motivation or confidence or something. But no, just start writing. And yeah, you're actually doing good. You can the introduction, the you can even start with the hello. Like you see, you are the writer. You are the writer of your story. So it's on you. Like how do you want to introduce it? So it's all up to you. So you can just start doing it. It's good. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Nathan. Uh, I want to ask that. Um, usually when I start writing a story, I usually start out with uh, Once Upon a Time. Is there any other way that I can start out a story uh, that doesn't sound so fairy tale y Okay, so you can start with an interesting question like, I don't know what you're writing about, but for example, have you read the book uh, Alice in the Wonderland? Question mark. Start with a question. Start with a very catchy question you can ask. Okay. That can be one way. And, you know, one is that you can start your uh, story, like, it's like, um, you know, in the middle, it can start with a dialogue as well. Like, there's a character, and it, the character is saying that dialogue, so it's like, hello, Nathan, how are you, in, you know, uh, the lines. And that's a dialogue. Your character is saying that. So, you can, you know, put a dialogue, you can start your story with a dialogue. Okay. Or, you, can, uh, you can also, you can also start by describing the setting of the place plus you can also start by you know um having the main character talk like introducing himself and you know and that's how the story proceeds there are different ways once upon a time is an old way of uh, starting a story you shouldn't actually like she said you can always start with a question you can always start with a dialogue so there are different ways to start a start story okay yeah good question yeah. Anyone else? It can be anything. It can be any question. Come on, we have. She is uh, our. Our on, she on, was so a part of the the American school, and she has written some books also, which is published on Amazon. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I think she is a source of inspiration for you all because at such a young age she has written a book. Yeah, I also share the link in the chat box. Mm. Yes, Fatima. Yes, so I want to ask, like, would you be able to share the presentation? Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't get that. Can you say that again? I was wondering if you could. Uh, Share, Share the presentation. presentation she's asking. What? Your presentation that you showed today, no? How to okay. write a book and everything. Okay. Uh, Fatima, I'll get back to you on this, okay? Also, if, uh, Punish, if you could also speak about how you managed your, your school work and in between you managed to write also. So, you know, you know, always students have this something that there's so much to work, so much work to do so much uh, assignments, then how to write. So if you could just throw some light on how you managed both your schoolwork as well as manage to write your book. 
Okay. So it's like no matter how much we study, there's always this one hour, there's always those two hours that we spend doing what we love, right? So instead of doing something else, you can, you know, uh, manage your time for this. Because school work, we cannot do anything. There's a lot of work, even I know, even I have right now. But it's like that for that one hour, for that, you know, you just have to take that one hour. And if you're really interested, you'll just keep working on it. So you dedicate that one hour for something that you really like, your passion. Yeah. I think uh, Punishi's dad had also mentioned it in that presentation when he had. So that one hour you dedicate for the passion that you have. Yeah. Good. And this will help you to develop that skill. It often feels like we have a whole life ahead by do this now, but it's actually a skill and it really helps us in the future as well. Okay. Yes. Um, am I saying your name right? Is it Seth? You can call him Sean. Yeah. Seth Sean. Okay. Okay. So my question is, does every book, does it, is it necessary to have pictures? No, it's not necessary. There are some books that doesn't have like uh, images at all. Okay. Like if you look at books of Edgar Allan Poe, in most of his books, there is no image. Okay. So no, it isn't necessary. Okay. And my second question is, is um, a digital book uh, better or uh, having a physical book? Like some people writing physical books, prefer, sorry, reading uh, physical books. And some prefer, uh, uh, you know, reading e-books. All a personal choice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question? Also, Fatima asked me to share my presentation. Do I have to move ahead or something? Uh, no, uh, Punishi. She meant like if you could share this uh, with her. So maybe you can... I mean the entire PPT, mm -hmm. the link or the PPT downloaded one. Okay, I'll share that. I'll just share that in a minute. I'll share the link of the book and presentation all together. Yeah. Any other question? Yes, Jay. Um, would it be all right to include forms of poems in a story we are writing? If suppose we are writing a book, would it be all right to also write poems alongside the story that the paragraphs that we are writing? Yeah, like if you're including chapters in your book, then in that in that chapter that there can be a poem. Yes, okay. you can. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Bhavya. I just uh, like I just wanted to ask that like like sometimes when you write a story, you know the idea, you know the concept, but sometimes we get confused what the title should be. You get confused that I know the story, but but uh, the title is like should it be catching or should it should it be captivating? So it's like I get confused with the title, like what my story's title should be. So that that time I get confused. Like I know the story is like a fantasy or is it a thriller? I know that, but sometimes I get confused. Like what the what the title should be? Should it be like it was? It should be related to the story. The title should be related to the story. So over there I get a little bit confused. Like what should I write? So it's like. I sometimes I confuse very well. Okay. So how I decided the name of my book, it was like, you know, Beleza in the end, she figures out what to do in life and everything. And then, uh, and, and that's when I have, you know, created a name on the Crepe Cafe, Adventures of Beleza. It's related to that. So you can, you know, what's the ending of your story? What is the, you know, resolution? What will happen in the end? You can keep a name related to that. Or you can write a name, uh, create a name, like which will really curate the readers. Okay. Like, for example, a question. Or if you look at the books of Edgar Allan Poe, then again, his names are always, that will always, you know, curate the readers. There's always the name which, you know, really interests us and we feel like that, okay, I want to read this one. Okay. So you can start like that. Or in the middle, like what's the main part of your story? In, inside your story, what's the main part? You can, uh, you know, name your title accordingly. Name it accordingly. Yeah, basically, your your title should interest your audience, your customers to buy your book. I mean, like she's like she rightly mentioned, it should yeah. be like you know, a person who looks at the book should be able to pick up that from the shelf and want to read. So, what exactly they think they can expect from the book? Yeah. Yes, you have uh, one more question, Bhavya. Yeah. 
So my question is, as a, uh, how many minimum page uh, there should be in a book as uh, as this age, like for if I'm writing a book for this age of children, minimum how many pages? Um, actually, there's uh, no limit or something. It's like, you know, now we also read Harry Potter and Harry Potter books are really, really long. It's like it has thousand pages, it has so many pages, it has many pages so it's really on you like it's really depend it really depends on your story if your how long your story is and the re of the readers of our age can read a long book as well and a short book as well all depends on your story your plot yeah yes akhir Ah, yeah. So I just assume in Amazon there are probably hundreds if not thousands of books already available so how do you get your like your pr product to be noticed by people? Because if they look and see that there's no ratings, uh, you know, how do you get that started for people to start reading? Okay, so for that, you'll have to do a lot of, you know, marketing, you know, like you can, uh, you can put your social media accounts like on Pinterest and, you know, there are many creative platforms. You can put your uh, links over there. You can, you know, mention about your book over there. And you should, you have to also be, a, you know, you have to improve your writing. You have to learn how to be a good writer and then, you know, keep on improving. So that will, you know, get the results that you want. And you can even promote whatever you have, like on Pinterest. And, you know, there are many platforms, ArtStation, and there are many platforms where you, you can promote your book. Good question, okay. Samarth has got a question. Yeah. What book genre is one of the best? Like, what is uh, the most preferred book genre? Preferable genre? Well, again, it's again depends on from person to person. It's uh, on how you write it. Many people like horror books. Uh, many people like thriller books. But if it's boring, then no one will like reading that. So it's really on you. So it's not the, about the genre, but it's about how you write and how you curate the readers. Okay. That's a personal choice again. It's... Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else who would like to ask? Yes, yes Fatima. Fatima. I'll just share the presentation link in a minute. Uh, this is another question, actually. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't really know how to put this at the moment in the you know, proper way. But then, uh, when I write a book, like I read a lot of web comics and comics. I don't read story because I find it really boring. So when I'm writing a story, man, like I write, uh, I put the person's name and what they say, and then another person like and what they say. so like is it a correct way of writing a book? Yeah, it's it's a good one. It's a good one. And the best part is that you are the writer of your story. So it's like whatever you write, it's like it's going to be a good one because you're the author of your book. So there's no wrong or so, and there's no right way when it comes to writing. It's just about those grammatical things that you have to uh, take care of. And there are many authors who experiment with their writing. Like many of them do uh, different things. And um, there are many books and we, they have also started, you know, using slang words in uh, like the book it's like the slang terms that we use they've also started doing that yeah yes Sean thank you <laughs> yeah I had a question that whenever I write a book I have a problem with names I don't know uh, what name should I put on the character so uh, I really get off my mind when uh, it comes to names okay so Okay, so what you can do is think of like, uh, what is the setting? Like, what is the in what is that book about you that you're writing about? Is it, um, you know, a story of, if it's a fictional book, then you can add a very, um, how do I put this in words? It all depends on your setting. Like what, for example, the story is taking place in America. Then you can write any, if you're introducing a character, you can write any common English name. You can start with Sam, John, anything. And if you want to really, if it's a fictional book, and if you want to, you know, introduce a very unique character with really unique traits, 
then you can you know probably create your own name you can you know give a very unique name to that character so it all depends on the setting so just think about uh, the place like uh, where your story is taking place what it is about and then think about it okay thank you thank you yes anyone else is there anybody else who would like to uh, after that also you can just uh, send her the questions and as i said that she was a very very active part of the school and she did participate in a lot of co curricular activities along with managing her studies so that is also something that you children should ask her that how did she manage and she was very good at both her co co curricular as i already said she won the mun best speaker she used to manage the entire team of newsletter dedicate her time over there long long hours we need to used to work and she was there but still she got a grades and that was commendable so you can ask her about that as well yes jay you want to ask something please ask uh yeah so i have two questions actually the first question is that while writing a character what is the main things you should focus about that character should you focus on the personality the looks or something else about the character that you are writing actually everything it's like first you can introduce the character with their looks if it's something really unique about their looks or something really you know that will uh, catch your audience interest so you can uh, introduce a character with their looks and then personality personality matters a lot so yeah you have to write to take care of the personality it's main the personality and you can introduce a character with uh, their looks yeah okay um and my second question is that what would be your biggest like uh what would be your biggest recommendation not recommendation exactly for multitasking uh okay mm -hmm. so first will be that eliminate distractions if mm -hmm. it's like for example planning a routine what's your routine now if you think that there is you spending 2 hours on your tab you know playing games uh, on your device or something then you know what's wasting your time so you can probably you know eliminate your distraction time and you can you know do time blocking like this time is for this thing this time is for this thing and it's like we want to do a lot of things but we're not able to do that so you know there are some small things that you'll have to quit but yeah that's my tip even i do that like um, when i i started writing my book i also you know eliminated my distraction time and i also you know slowly and gradually stopped you know looking at my tab that much okay thank you thank you yes bhavra uh, it's not a question i mean i'm not asking a question i just uh, wanted to uh, like ask you that if i could you know share my short story with you just to take a recommendation if it's like you know nice or was it's like it was a homework to write a story so i just wrote it it was actually beyond the word limit but i just you know i just kept uh, writing it i just couldn't i mean i just i just started getting ideas and ideas when i was writing the story so it's like I went above two hundred and fifty, around three hundred or four hundred. I don't know the word limit. So if I could just share, if I could just share it with you. Yeah, you can share it. If you want to share, take a recommendation. It's great, or you know. Yeah, if you want to share right now, you can share. Or if you don't want to share right now, then I can put my uh email. So you can you know contact me there as well. Uh, ma'am can you change the settings and uh, like because i want to put the link and i can only put uh, talk to uh, anita ma'am and sakshi ma'am in the chat box tada wants to ask something right yeah so Anantha ma'am said you're part of the newsletter team, and I am as well a part of the newsletter team. I'm just asking, uh, how do you write a proper newsletter? How do you make the newsletter very interesting? Okay, so how to make a newsletter interesting? It depends on the colors. You know, choose what colors do you want to have. What is the audience like? Is it for okay? So you're a part of a school newsletter? Yeah, I'm part of the newsletter team. 
okay so think what colors will make it interesting you know font should make it interesting but at the same time you should not use multiple multiple fonts because that will be like too haphazard but you know choose your colors wisely think what colors will you know make it interesting fonts what you write titles you can add images good really good and of really good quality images into that there are really good graphics yeah and the main thing is the color and the font that is the main thing that you should take care of okay yeah so you should not use any slides in the newsletter right it should be font you should not uh, can you repeat that should we not use slangs like slangs in the newsletter like okay do you mean that ruled lines no, no slang slang <laughs> he's talking about the slangs in the whatsapp language that children use yeah yeah casual language yeah you can do that but uh, not not in the whole newsletter or it really depends on what the newsletter is about in your school newsletter so yes you can do that but it should look then you know it should look interesting yeah okay thank you thank you so if we don't have do we have any further questions here anybody else who would like to ask anything excuse me ma'am yes dear uh, can you change the chat settings so that i can share the link sure 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 one minute miss sakshi can you do that please yeah she is doing it Get one to ask something. Ah, uh, yeah. I just wanted to ask, how many books did you write? I've written two. Okay, and could you please tell me the names? It is uh, the Crepe Cafe Adventures of Belleza, and the second one is yet to release. It's yet to get published. It's in the French. The same book is in French. Okay. I'll and put also, the same. Yeah. Okay. And I also wanted to ask, like, what inspired you? to write a book yeah what inspired me it is that again you know watching movies of uh, movies and reading books of you know fictional genre really fascinated me and i always used to think that you know how do they make beautiful stories how do they express it through words and through graphics so that was really interesting to me and i was like that okay even i want to do this and i've always been really fond of writing so that inspired me and i was like that okay even i want to do this So that inspired me. Yes, Nathan. Are you going to be writing a sequel to the Crep Cafe? Ah, uh, I've not thought about it yet. I'm actually working on. Ah, uh, currently I'm working on one more project. It's not a book actually. It's writing, but it's not a book. I, you know, Ananta Ma'am will know about it soon, and hopefully you will you will too. But it's not a book. It's quite a big project, but it's not a book. And Ananta Ma'am will know about it soon, okay. and with Ananta Ma'am, you will also know. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anyone else who would like to ask her? Children, did you notice how amazingly she's answering? I mean, uh, at this age, the touch wood, the level of confidence that she has, and the amount of experience that she has, it's commendable. And uh, let me tell you one thing: she is also Gauravi's sister, sibling. Yeah, I guessed it. <laughs> Ma'am, I noticed the last oh. name. Oh my God! But that could be same, Tado. And then, and then, uh, oh, the last then I searched YouTube. Ma'am, ma I also searched YouTube. <laughs> okay. That's Many of you have seen me as well. Yeah. 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 Hey, well, uh, I also, uh, your father actually came in the assembly one time. Ah, uh, your mother and father. I I actually guessed it, both of them. Okay. I yeah. searched on YouTube and the, it was saying your father's name, so I guessed it because ah, uh, I think your father's name is Vikram. Yes, Mr. Vikram. Yes. Yes, Mr. Vikram. Very nice, Tado. You are so smart. You have grown smartly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions, children? Yes, Hanuka. If I'm saying your name right. Yeah, it's absolutely right. Yes. 
Um, so I wanted to ask that um, I have written a book. So can I like publish that online instead of selling physical copies? Like, uh, did you get me? Could you repeat um, your question, dear? Yeah, okay, I'll repeat. So um, I wrote a book, okay? And I want to publish it, but could I publish it online instead of copies, physical copies? Um, it's up to you. It's on you. I did. I I have. I don't have the physical copies of my book. I also published it online. It's on Amazon. So I did it online. You can do it too, or you can have physical copies. It's like up to you. Whatever you prefer. So I can sell it in Kindle version as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Sean? Yeah, I just wanted to ask, like, how much, uh, if you're publishing online, like, how much should a book cost? Mm, that I honestly know. I don't have any idea about this because my dad did. My dad published the book and he handled all of that. So I have no idea about all of that. But I'll put my email ID if you have any other questions oh. yeah interesting uh, so punishi i could see that uh, you have uh, quite a bit impressed and you know motivated them to be future writer that that's what punishi's charm is all about so punishi is just like that you know in previous class also she was a uh, way mature and ahead and she used to excel in everything she is really amazing Anybody Thank else who would like to ask? Welcome. You can ask her uh, about managing things as well. Anyone else? Oh. Mom, you're we'll move ahead. Now is it fine? Yes, ma'am. Also, ma'am, the uh, settings have not changed of the chat one. One minute. Actually, I'm not the host, you know. I'll just do it. I'll just inform. Hanuka, yes, please ask. So do you by any chance know how to publish the book on Amazon? Because I tried it, but I didn't really ask for like a, a business that you have or something like that. Okay, again, I don't have any idea about this. It's like if your, you know, parents are aware of how to do this, then you can take help of them, or you can hire someone, you know, just to, with the help of your guardian. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? No one? Yeah. It's every, uh, now the settings have changed. Punishi, just try. Yes, ma'am. I've done it. Yeah. Yeah, any other questions? Okay. We don't have any further questions. Yes, Tado, please ask. Uh, my dad actually published a book. He, it, it also had physical copies and um, uh, virtual copies. I'm just confused on one thing. How do we, how much words do we have to write? Like, according to my father, he wrote like, I think a thousand and five hundred words in, my, in his book. Like, Approximately how much do we have to write? If you can tell me that. Again, it really depends on you. It's like because children of our age, you know, we can even read small books. We can even read long books. Harry Potter series, if you look at that, and many series, if you look, they have a lot of chapters, a lot of pages, and just imagine how many words they could have written. So it's like, it really depends on your audience, your story, and you know, your everything, your characters, do you want to include any chapters? So there's no limit or it's, there's no, you know, rule or a fact or something that you should only write this, this words or something. It's really on you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, thank you so much, Punishi, for sharing uh, the website and even your book link. And I'm glad that you have inspired a lot of children here. So thank you so much. Now, I would like uh, Bernice, the Vice President of the Student Council, to give you give the vote of thanks. So thank you so much for your valuable session today, Ms. Bonishi. And thank you for accepting our invitation and giving us your precious time today. Uh, we learned so many things like starting stories with interesting questions. Uh, thank you for coming here today and show, showing us about your book and some inspiration. Uh, you've inspired us to be future authors, and now we have a clear path. Once again, thank you so much for coming, and we hope you have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope I was able to inspire you all in some way, and as you said, I did. I'm really happy. And also for Bhavya or anyone, I have uh, J, uh, you know put my email ID in the chat. So you can even communicate with me through that. Bhavya, you can uh, note that. I've and you saved your I've saved it. Okay. Thank you so much, Punishi. It was really amazing to you know have you here. Punishi has been an inspiration for her classmates as well, even previously because she's a girl. She never says no to anything. She has that type of. Uh, attitude she says no to anything and whether the task is you know difficult it's new and she doesn't know she devotes a lot of time but still she's able to manage it means even if i remember when we were doing the mun she used to spend a lot of time in the research work and everything but apart from that it was never that she delayed in any kind of assignment in her class or anything so, I mean, that is also something, you know, time management, that is something that you all should learn from her. And I really appreciate her. And apart from having so many good qualities and talents, she's so humble. And she was in today also, you know, she very humbly saying that uh, if anybody has any question, you can do that. She was ready to share her PPT. And uh, even she gave her email ID so that you guys can anytime ask her any question. And even at this young age, if you, you, you see, she said that you can ask me any question you want. And she's honestly trying very hard, even if she's, you know, at this young age, she's trying hard to, you know, manage everything. Plus, she's uh, able to come here. So, see, this is what I want all of you to be inspired by, that at that, this young age, if we are inviting her to be the guest uh, speaker, that's a big thing, isn't it, children? Yes, you guys can unmute and speak. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So please be inspired and uh, take help from her. And we are also there to guide you. So thank you so much, Poneshi, for coming here today. Really, God bless you. It was really lovely session. And uh, thank you so much for patiently listening. And, you know, just uh, I can just tell you that, you know, my blessings are always there with you. And uh, it was really amazing. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, everyone. It means a lot. Thank you. 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 Thank you very much. You can now join your classes. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. We're meeting at home. I know. <laughs> I was about to say that. Why are you saying bye? <laughs> I mean, at least to everyone else. I can at, say. Least, at least, yes. This should be different, no? This is formally, she's as a student of grade seven, she's saying bye. Okay, bye. Let's meet after five minutes. <laughs> Punishi, it was lovely having you here and uh, definitely uh, I'm really excited about the project that you're seeing because it's like, uh, I don't know what that is. Can it's you quite a big one. It's quite a big one. Oh my God. So is, is it a surprise or something? 
yeah it is oh lord okay. like it's something which is going to you know be continued it will never stop oh okay. that's lovely yeah can can i have a uh, teaser or a sneak peek <laughs> no <laughs> oh okay so, that's great rest of you joining your classes why are you guys listening um we also want a sneak peek <laughs> Okay, so I don't know about the hint, but uh, uh, okay, hint is that you will get to know about it in December. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow, what a hint! <laughs> now I I'll be like, oh my god, I'm I'm more curious now. <laughs> what is it about? Okay, so the hint is like right now I wrote a book and now I've just done it, but this project is going to be something that I'm going to be working on for months, for years, and like forever depends. Lovely. Lovely. Yes. So we we will be a part of it, like or uh, yeah. I... Wow, that's amazing! Thank yeah. you so much, and uh, and please do it as soon as possible because I really am yeah. curious about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, dear. Thank you so much. I'll just end the meeting now. Punishi, thank you so much. I'll talk to you afterwards. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Welcome. Bye, bye. Bye. Atria Arpe Thanuka Ken Satvik Sean Go.